A stroke, also known as a cerebrovascular accident or CVA is when part of the brain loses its blood supply and the part of the body that the blood-deprived brain cells control stops working. It is a medical emergency because strokes can lead to death or permanent disability. Ischemic stroke. In 8 out of 10 strokes, a blood vessel that takes blood to your brain gets plugged. It happens when fatty deposits in arteries break off and travel to the brain or when poor blood flow from an irregular heartbeat forms a blood clot. Hemorrhagic stroke. It's less common than an ischemic stroke but can be more serious. A blood vessel in your brain balloons up and bursts, or a weakened one leaks. Uncontrolled high blood pressure and taking too much blood thinner medicine can lead to this kind of stroke. An ischemic stroke is caused by an artery in the brain being obstructed or blocked, preventing oxygen-rich blood from being delivered to brain cells. The artery can be blocked in a couple of ways. In a thrombotic stroke, an artery can narrow over time because of cholesterol buildup called plaque. If that plaque ruptures, a clot is formed at the site and prevents blood from passing to brain cells downstream, which are then deprived of oxygen. Blood clots that embolize usually arise from the heart. The most common cause of these blood clots is a heart arrhythmia called atrial fibrillation, where the upper chambers of the heart, the atria, do not beat in an organized rhythm. Instead, the chaotic electrical rhythm causes the atria to jiggle like a bowl of jello. While blood still flows to the ventricles, the heart's lower chambers, to be pumped to the body, some blood along the inner walls of the atrium can form small blood clots. If a clot breaks off, it can travel or embolize to the brain, where it can block blood flow to a part of the brain and cause a stroke. What are the risk factors for stroke? Overall, the most common risk factors for stroke are Diabetes High cholesterol Increasing age Smoking Symptoms of a stroke will appear suddenly. The American Heart Association and American Stroke Association have created a memorable acronym if you suspect someone is having a stroke, FAST. If you believe that you may be suffering from a stroke yourself, alert someone who is with you immediately. If you are alone, you can go through these steps for yourself. Face dropping. When a person is suffering from a stroke, it is very common for one side of their face to droop or become numb suddenly. If you believe this is happening, Ask the person to smile and see whether the smile is even. An uneven or lopsided smile indicates that the person has lost control of the facial muscles or nerves on one side of their face, which is likely due to a stroke. Arm weakness. Since a stroke often causes weakness on one side of the body, ask the person to hold both arms straight out in front of them. If one arm droops down lower, this is an indicator that they are suffering from a stroke. Speech difficulty. A stroke can cause speech problems, including slurred speech or difficulty speaking coherently. Ask the person to repeat a simple sentence. If they are unable to do so, or if their speech is difficult to understand, this may also be a sign of a stroke. Time to call 911. If the person shows any of the above symptoms, call 911 immediately. They will need medical attention even if their symptoms go away. Tell the 911 operator that the person is having a stroke and requires an ambulance right away. Remain calm and stay with the stroke victim. You need to monitor their condition and prevent them from falling or being otherwise injured. It's very important to write down what time the stroke symptoms first began as precisely as possible. The doctor will need this information to know whether there is still time to perform the treatment. This must be administered within 4 hours and 30 minutes of the onset of a stroke.
If the person is unconscious, check to see whether they are breathing or have a pulse. If you find no breath or pulse, begin performing CPR as you wait for the paramedics to arrive. Do not give the person medicine or food of any kind. Medication could worsen their condition, and since many stroke victims have difficulty swallowing, any food or drink could lead to choking. Do not allow the person to go to sleep. Many stroke victims report feeling very tired, but letting them sleep can be extremely dangerous.